Hi y'all, welcome back to my shop for another turning tip. Uh, I had a recent set of videos on, on, on scrapers and I didn't really get into one aspect of, of, of using a little uh, burnisher to raise a burr. But if you want the sharpest edge to be able to bring up a little burr, let me show you a little trick. So last year I had a workshop with Eric Lustrum, who's uh, just a real enthusiastic, wonderful, wonderful turner from out in the uh, north northwest, and we turned these ingrain boxes and colored them and put this uh, metallic leaf in them. And one of the tips that, that Eric had was making a burnisher with a carbide rod and a small little handle. And he suggested using a uh, one eighth inch uh, Dremel bit that's used for cutting tile. Uh, most of them are high speed steel and your burnisher has got to be harder harder than your tool. So it, it, you can't use a high speed steel burnisher, you've got to use carbide. Uh, so I bought one of these things, they're five or six or seven bucks, and then you embed the cutter inside a handle the only problem I had is that I wound up snapping it off. Uh, then I found out my friend Robo Hippie, uh, out in the, uh, also out in the Northwest, he was using uh, 3 16 of an inch carbide rods, and he found a source for those rods. So they're, they're much thicker, but they're still a, a really good size for making a burnishing rod. So I got on and did a little research, and what I found on eBay, I found uh, somebody who was selling a whole packet of these things, He's carbide three, uh, 30 seconds. Instead of buying the rod, uh, he was selling used carbide uh, end mills, which is just perfect. It's the same kind of solution as this Dremel where you're, you're embedding the drilling part into the handle and just, and just using the, the shaft. Uh, so these were actually cheaper than sourcing uh, carbide rods in small numbers. Now, if you, uh, the, the shipping is what kills you when you go to buying these, but I got a really good deal off uh, off eBay and, and I bought a bunch of them because I'm going to do a workshop at my club to make these. So all you're going to do is take a little epoxy, uh, two part epoxy. So I'm using five minute epoxy but I don't, I don't think it makes any difference which, which kind you use and I'm just going to use the uh, little carbide rod with the flutes, stir it up real good. Then I'm going to take the handle that I had before that I used for this. I, I heated this up, pulled it out on a vise, and re-drilled a, a, a smaller hole. And now I'm just going to put a little bit of epoxy in that in that hole, like so, a generous amount. And then I'm just simply going to tap this in. I drilled the hole so it would cover uh, the flutes and still leave a very about half of this. These are two inch, two inch by three sixteenths inch carbide uh, end mills, and then I'm going to take just a little bit of this epoxy and just kind of coat the top of this for appearance sake, and then I'm going to let that dry. Then I'll show you how to use it. Okay, here's here's that uh, finished burnishing tool. Uh, here's how you use it. I've got a little more detail on burnishing uh, negative rake scraper in that longer video and I'll have a link at the end of this video. Uh, there's different schools of thought. There's a certain amount of art and there's a certain amount of science. And I don't know which one's more art or science, but um, my buddy Robo Hippie says uh, keep the edge at 90 degrees to the, either the top or, or the bottom when you're burnishing it. Tormek suggests a 5 degree angle off of the bevel. So basically you're just going to take it like this. I'm going to use Robo Hippies. He's had a lot of experience with this at 90 degrees. And we're just going to put a little pressure on here. And maybe do it no more than probably a couple of times. And uh, you have to uh, practice with it. Here's a picture of a commercial uh, version by Veritas where it has a carbide pin at a 10 degree uh, uh, angle for burnishing. I turn a, do a wood turning tip every Tuesday and a longer video every Friday so y'all come back. And also I wanted for some of y'all not aware of it, I do have an Amazon uh, shop. The link is in the description underneath the description for this uh, video. So if you're thinking about buying something on Amazon that's wood turning related, 
check out some of the items and you can support my channel because I'll get a small commission. Y'all come back here.